to Sunday Vespers on this Palm Sunday evening. Palm Sunday, hmm, it always reminds me of joy. But let me read to you from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, verses 37 through 40. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. And he said, I tell you, if they keep quiet, stones will cry out. We're, we're from, pretty much familiar with that, that text and the, the crying out of the rocks. Um, but as I think about joyful rocks, um, I, I believe that God wanted the rocks to praise him. That they, they, that's not a, anything, nothing's too difficult for the Lord. But let me, let me talk about the, the pictures of joy that, that are kind of etched into my mind, like leaping deer, and the Bible gives us a picture in, in the Hebrew of, of spinning tops when it talks of joy. So back, back on the farm, this time of year, in the, in the months of uh, uh, March and, and very early April, um, that could be a very, very muddy time, especially if we, if we had a winter where there was a lot of snow and it stayed all winter long, and then the warmer days of March came and we started to get a lot of rain, uh, it, would, it would create a lot of mud in the pasture, just very soggy, very muddy, especially if uh, you took anything in the pasture and uh, put anything in the pasture like steer or goats or sheep or our ponies. They would, I mean, they would just it would tear it up and it would just become this muddy mess. And so, uh, the consequence of that for us is we, we, we kept those animals in the barn pretty much in March and, and very early April so that they wouldn't tear up all the sod and create a mud field instead of a, a, a nice pasture. And they, so they, they were pretty antsy to get out and enjoy the sunshine and the, and the air. And, uh, when we finally let them loose um, and put them in the pasture in April, it was, it was an incredible sight uh, to behold. They would run and uh, the ponies would kick up their heels and, and rise up on their back legs and then do the bronco jump a few times and um, the, the sheep would lots of times just start running around the, the inside perimeter of the pastures around and around and around and, and the goats were the best, they were the most fun of all because they, they would find anything they could bounce off of, um, whether it was the ground itself or off of a fence post. Or, I mean, they would just run and jump and all four feet hit a fence post. I don't know how they did that, but they did it well. Um, and just express, to me, they were expressing the joy of being out there in the open again, out uh, in uh, the pasture where the green grass was and, and the fresh air was all about them. And they were out on that stuffy. The barns can get stale pretty quickly when the animals are in there all the time, even though you open it up to air it out uh, daily. It's still just uh, it's not the same as being outside. And so I just saw them expressing joy in that way. And that Palm Sunday reminds me that we need to, every once in a while, express the joy of the Lord in our lives. And um, what I've learned is not, not all animals express that the same way. Not all people express joy the same way. And um, it, it's wrong for us to try and box people in to the way that we think they should express joy. Let that be a personal expression of whoever's uh, feeling the joy at the moment. Let, let them, for me, um, I express joy as much by being quiet as I do by uh, a more obvious expression of joy, a vocal one or a, a moving one. Um, and so for somebody to tell me, well, you're not really expressing joy if you're not doing X, Y, or Z, that, that's wrong for us to do that. Don't do that. Uh, let people express it their own way. But the flip side of that is we all should express it in some way or another. Um, for God is good. He is faithful and faithful. Jesus is our Lord and the King of Kings. And uh, what a great Sunday this has been to express that joy to the Lord and, and to worship Him. Heavenly Father, thank you for the joy you give to us. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the scene of Palm Sunday, the scene of the triumphal entry. Uh, as we enter this holy week, Lord, help us to indeed set it aside as, as a time to be holy. Not that every week shouldn't be holy of the year, Lord, but this is a special week. Help us to see it so. We ask in Jesus' name.
God bless you. I'll see you on Easter.